Jethro Tull's weird Elvis moment. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. I've been doing interviews for over 35 years in radio, but when I started doing this YouTube channel, I started realizing that Elvis would come up an awful lot. You know, just like the Beatles would come up. You ask about influences, usually, at least on this channel, the Beatles are by far number one. But yes, Elvis has come up an awful lot. And one of our subscribers, when I said I was talking to Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, said, you got to ask him about Elvis. Uh, I, don't, I didn't know Elvis towards the end of his life. I, I didn't know Elvis at all. But we once went to see him in 1969 when he... Um, made his first big debut in Las Vegas doing, uh, you know, when it was the white jumpsuit era. Mm -hmm. And um, and we were new boys in town. We went to Las Vegas and somebody, perhaps one of the promoters that we were working with, said, oh, hey, you guys want to go and see Elvis? And we had a night off and, you know, for no particular reason, I suppose I said, yeah, all right. The other guys were more curious than I was. I was never really an Elvis Presley fan. I remember hearing... Heartbreak Hotel. I uh, thought that was quite good when I was nine years old, but uh, I wouldn't have ever called myself an Elvis fan, particularly after the first two or three um, pieces of music he released. Um, I didn't like what happened next, and certainly not his movie time um, or indeed his Las Vegas period. But we went to see him, and, and at the end of, I mean, it was a, it was a for me a very sad experience because it was quite obvious that Elvis was not, um, yeah. I was going to say not himself, perhaps he was himself by that time, but he was quite clearly uh, either very drunk or very high on drugs or perhaps a combination of both, but whatever it was, he was he was um, teetering on the edge of being incomprehensible and, and forgetting words and forgetting where he was. And the band obviously were well used to it and managed to cover for him a lot of the time. But it was pretty, pretty poor. And uh, at the end, some minion came to where we were sitting uh, and said, uh, uh, Elvis will see you in his dressing room now. And I said, "Well, that's very kind, but you know, you know what? I think we're we're, we're all a bit jet lagged, and and I think we'll just we'll just we won't bother Mr. Presley right now. We'll just uh, we'll just quietly slip away and go back to our hotel." He said, "No, no, no. Elvis will see you in his dressing room now." And I said, "Well, um, I don't think actually that's going to work because I, you know I'm just to try to explain. I'm really just yeah. very I'm very tired. I really would you know tell him you know um, t tell him we loved the show. It was great and very nice to be invited back. But but no thank you. And the guy just said, and I could almost imagine him you know putting his hand on his hip where he probably had a concealed sidearm <laughs> saying you you you're not hearing me. He said Elvis will see you in his dressing room now. <clears throat> to which I'm I kind of felt well and I'm you're going to make myself equally clear and I said no Elvis will not see me in his dressing room right now but thank you I have to go and uh, you went no we we left that we left the building Elvis stayed in the building we left the building <laughs> no um I think the other guys were a bit disappointed because they probably did want to go and see Elvis just to say oh we met Elvis but I didn't want to meet El I didn't want to meet that Elvis yeah. I, I would have met, I would have liked to have met the Elvis who did um, Hound Dog or Jailhouse Rock or the Elvis who kicked off performing rock and roll in such a an amazing way, which he did. That that was the Elvis I would have wanted to meet, not some guy who was by then seriously overweight, seriously out of his brain on chemicals and 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 really performing in such a haphazard way that it, it wasn't the way I wanted to meet Elvis. No, I'm sorry, but no. Interesting story, huh? Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. More from Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull coming up next Saturday. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.